Pokemon Legends ZA may actually change future Pokemon releases forever. So I have a few thoughts and theories as to Legends ZA and how it can kind of change the direction of future Pokemon games or future releases of Pokemon games. But I also mean this in a good way. I think this is a good direction and a good step for Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon company. I think they're going in a positive direction that they're going to actually benefit from and the customers and fans are going to be actually happier with. Also, if you guys don't mind, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. It really helps and I really do appreciate anyone that actually does support the channel. So basically, Legend ZA is coming out next year, which my initial thought was, okay, they're going to start slowing down releases of Pokemon games because we thought we were going to get a game this year, which may have actually been the case, and a lot of people are assuming that because of the Switch 2 being reportedly delayed until 2025 as well, that Legend ZA also alongside that is going to be delayed until the Switch 2 releases. But basically, if they're taking more time to develop the game and they're expanding the release schedule and making it release next year rather than this year, it means we're going to go two years, it means we're going to have a two year break in between new releases of Pokemon games. I'm not counting the DLC for Scarlet and Violet because that was cool, but that's not a new game. That's just a DLC. That's additional gameplay to Scarlet and Violet. So Scarlet and Violet came out in 2022. In 2023, we had no Pokemon game, and then 2024, as of right now, we have no release for Pokemon game. My last video actually kind of talked about that topic, about like if we could potentially get a game this year, because there are small rumors about Ilka, which they made um, the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, the remakes, um, so they made that game. There's a report that they may be making a black and white game that could be released this year, because basically, it's not unlikely for Nintendo to announce a new Pokemon game like a month after the Pokemon Day or Pokemon Direct or Pokemon Presents, I mean. But I obviously hope we do not get a game this year. I, I don't I don't want a black and white remake, especially I don't want a black and white remake yet because I feel like it'd be rushed, especially from Ilka. I feel like they would need to go with another company or just really put their effort and time into that game. So hopefully we don't get a game this year. And hopefully next year is only one release as well because we could also get two releases next year But I, I just really hope they're slowing down production And that's what it seems like they're doing because they also did announce that a couple months ago that they're gonna kind of focus more on one game at a time and and rather than Kind of giving us a ton of games which over the last few years We've had a lot of Pokemon games So they're gonna start slowing down production focusing more which would give us a better game because Scarlet and Violet They were very buggy. Let's just say that you know very buggy glitchy they were really fun and great games, but just they had so many bugs. So with Legend ZA, they may be giving themselves way more time to actually fully develop this game, and it's going to give us a better finished product, hopefully better graphics, a better storyline, and just a better overall experience with a new Pokemon game. So my second topic here is about how future Pokemon games are going to be changing with their storyline. So we got Pokemon Legends Arceus a couple years ago as well, which was the first Legends game, and it was unknown if we'd ever actually get another Legends game until now, after the announcement of Legends ZA, so we are getting another Legends game, which is so awesome. But future Pokemon games, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get more Legends games, or at least more games similar to Legends games, and that's the idea of just like branching off into different storylines of past generations. So we're going to probably go back to old generations probably every other year, I'd say, and get new storylines based off of, you know, generation one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, whatever it may be, whatever Legends game or spinoff game that they may give us. But that's just that's awesome, in my opinion, because we're getting more lore to a certain generation rather than them continuing to go forward and with more and more generations because we're almost approaching generation 10 that's coming out really soon and there are a ton of like pokemon out there there's like i think 1100 pokemon i think or unique pokemon which is crazy so i feel like they're going to start focusing more on previous generations and kind of branching off and not giving us as many new pokemon because they're probably going to give us regional variants and stuff to existing pokemon already and just a couple new Pokemon within Legends ZA, I'd assume, because we got some with uh, Legends Arceus. We got different forms of existing Pokemon. So I feel like they're going to go focus on that rather than 
trying to crank out new generations, which, I mean, they don't crank out new generations. That's not really what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say mainly is that they're just going to focus more on the old generations and give us branched off storylines that still connect to the, like, you know, that respective generation, I guess, which is just super cool. And Legend ZA is like a fan's dream come true because there were there was supposed to actually be a pokemon z that came after pokemon x and y but the game was scrapped if i'm not mistaken i believe the game pokemon z was already in development or they were they were writing it or something like that and then something happens where they just stopped and actually never released legends or not legends my bad where they never released pokemon z so this storyline could be kind of based off of that. I feel like it's not entirely, though. I feel like Legend ZA is going to be completely different than what Legend Z was originally going to be. Maybe with the exception of, like, a little bit of the lore about Zygarde and everything. But that'd be awesome because that also could give us a Generation 5 spinoff game about the original dragon and stuff like that. So I think the Endless... So I really think there are like endless possibilities and like maybe even Game Freak and the Pokemon company and stuff can focus on like fan theories and actually make some of them come true, obviously within reason, but there are a lot of theories within like every single Pokemon game. So like imagine us getting a Generation 3 spinoff of a Legends game, whatever, Generation 3 Legends game, and we get some cool lore about stuff that we've thought about in the past or have been talked about within the community. I just think that'd be really cool, and I also do believe that Game Freak, Nintendo, the Pokemon Company, it's confusing because it's owned by like three different companies, Pokemon is, like Nintendo owns one third, I think Game Freak owns a third, and then I think the other third is owned by the Pokemon Company, if I'm not mistaken, but I feel like they're listening to the fans, I, I really do believe that they've heard everyone's thoughts over the last couple years because I've always said, like my opinion about the recent Pokemon games from the last, like, six years i believe every game has been just so experimental like every game on the switch has been so different from the last i mean as it should but like i feel like every game has been drastically different from the last so i really think that the switch generation of pokemon games was just like a huge experiment with pokemon and stuff and kind of where they want to go to in the future and going alongside that it looks like future pokemon games are most likely all going to be open world with the exception of remakes. I feel like we're gonna get all open world games from here on out. Whenever we actually end up getting black and white remakes though, obviously like that's gonna be not an open world game. That's gonna be kind of how the original games were with just polished graphics and everything and hopefully some additional storylines and, and everything like that. But like Pokemon Sword and Shield had elements of open world but it wasn't completely open world and then we went on to legends arceus which was open world and scarlet and violet open world legends ea looks like it's gonna be open world so i feel like for their future projects it seems like we're gonna get open world after open world game which i'm totally down for i used to not like the open world games but i really do enjoy open world now my only complaint is with some open world games is that there is almost too much in the game like sometimes like an open world game can take like 75 hours to beat which i guess isn't a bad thing if it is a good game but there's there are a lot of elements that go into an open world game so i'll, I'll talk about that in another time not not in this video but with legend za if it's released on the switch 2 i hope that means there's better graphics and just better gameplay and i really hope that game looks amazing because my concern with that game is that it reportedly takes place in the city of kalos like it's there there may not be a ton of nature and like grass areas there, i mean there will I'm, I'm assuming there will be some there has to be some there can't just be nothing it can't just be only city in my opinion but my my worry with that game is it's gonna look so gray i feel like it, it could look gray just with buildings concrete so I'm really hoping the, the graphics portray something unique and bright and fun and, and open for us to like explore and actually really be interested in the surrounding areas. So I hope it's not just kind of like, like I hope it doesn't feel confined is what I'm trying to say. But I really do feel like future Pokemon games are changing for the better. I mean, a lot of people can debate whether or not open world is better or worse for Pokemon. Personally, I'm all for it. I think they're great i think open world for pokemon is great and i feel like it gives us a more immersive feel when it's open world and i feel like it feels more like how pokemon actually intended the games to be 25 years ago but they just never had the technology and now the technology is like 
almost limitless in a way. I mean, kind of ironic I'm saying that because of how Scarlet and Violet perform, but what I'm trying to say is that they could do anything as long as they really work hard on it, and I think that they are. So let me know what your thoughts are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.